What's good, everybody? So we are now back for the second episode of the Vettas Career Mode. It is transfer day, transfer deadline day, and we're gonna go after our two priority players, which was Renato and Pogba. Both these players, I really wanted the team because our midfield players are not the best. I think our only best midfielders are probably McKenny and our uh, Arthur, Rabio and Ramsey are, are both out of here. I already sold Ramsey to Liverpool, as you guys saw from last episode. Rabio, he's still here, but we put him onto the transfer list so he can get sold. So we're gonna go to transfer hub, start dive right into it. We're gonna start off with uh Sanchez and we're gonna approach to buy. His market value is around 27 uh, million, but hopefully we don't have to pay too much. Here we go, we're gonna offer a transfer fee. I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna I'm gonna say 30. I think that's probably a good, decent offer we can get for him. And hopefully they say yes. Here we go. Let's see what they say. They're looking at 45 million. All right. I think that's a little too much for me. I think I got an idea. If we player swap, we go for a midfielder and we toss in Rabio and we change the transfer fee to, let's say we change it to like 10. Maybe that's a little bit better for them. I think it's a pretty fair deal for me. There we go. That's a realistic offer. I think we may have overpaid. But at least we can secure Renato to the team. Here we go. Now we gotta negotiate his wages. Alright. We're at the dinner. Here we go. We gotta sweet talk him. We gotta sweet talk this man. Squad rule. It's gonna be a crucial part of a squad rule. Because we need him in the squad all times and McKenny and McKenny switching out with Arthur I think that's the best we could do with our midfield for your deal <laughs> except we're taking that all day every day let's go we're taking that release cause or disregard that all right so they put out the wages for us for nine uh point five thousand euros uh, as a wage and then uh 520 thousand euros as a signing bonus and then for 25 appearances you want 1.4 million I'm gonna counter. I think we're gonna remove the bonus. I think we can submit that. Just we save just a tad a bit of money. Let's see what they say. All right, so they did not like that, and they want the wages up at fifty-five thousand now. All right. I think we we'll change the wage. We'll take it down to forty-five. We'll take this up. Do that. There we go. Bang. Let's see what they say. Oh shit. If you're looking, if you're really serious about signing him, you should have a, pro, you shouldn't have a problem agreeing to fifty-five thousand per week. Man, I don't want to fuck this up. Man, I don't want to screw this up. I think I'm gonna accept it, boys. I think I'm gonna accept it. Let's go. We're accepting it. We got Renato. Let's go. It's a deal done. Let's go, baby. We got Renato Sash to Juventus. All right, now we got Pogba. Is next. He's our next midfielder. We're going Pog back. Let's go. Offer between 86.8 million and 116.5 million. Oh no, we have to start tossing in players here, I think. Approach to buy. Here we go. Let's get started. I think we're gonna try doing a player swap here. Midfielder. Uh, I don't know who should we did. I don't, I don't know if we could toss anyone in here. Yeah, I don't think we have any other players. We just gotta go for a straight transfer fee here. I think I'm gonna say 80 mil, guys. Actually, no, maybe 85. Big baller spenders here. Let's go. Take it or leave it. Let's go, Manu. We need Paul Pog back. What are you saying? Minimum 80. Bro, these guys want 2 million more, man. Come on, bro. Okay, I know what to do. I'll do 85. But I'll add a sell on clause. A 5%. And let's see what you say to that. Come on, you're definitely taking this. Oh my gosh, man. They bought it down. Let's see if we can bring it down to 86. I don't know why I'm trying to save like pennies, but do that. Come on. You got to take this offer. They're sticking to that. Okay, boys, we just got to take it. We're accepting. Menu is not budging. We're going to take the deal. 86.8 million. Let's go. Now we got to dis discuss his wages. All right, here we go. 
squad role crucial 100 percent we're accepting that four-year contract yeah i'll take that that's pretty good we'll take that as well come on we'll be saying now let's see what they say disregard the uh, release clause oh shoot all right so they want like sixty thousand a decrease in wages that's pretty good for us let's see if we can counter get rid of the bonus clause and accept this let's see what they say they took that oh my god what a steal we got sixty thousand less on the wages <laughs> removed his bonus and they accept it let's freaking go so this is going to be a squad now we're going to change it up i think i'm going to change it to a 4-3-3 three, three. all right now that we got the 4-3-3 three, three, i think i'm going to put ronaldo striker take out dibala and i think Put in Kulisevsky here and then switch Kulisevsky and Chiesa. Do that. Switch our players here. Sanchez goes in for Arthur. Let me put Paul Pogba here. I think this is actually pretty good for us. As our starting 11 so far. Arthur comes off the bench sometimes for Sanchez. Or maybe we have Sanchez and take out McKenny and put in Arthur. And I think maybe this is probably our best for our midfield. There we go. All right. Now that we did our business, we're going to sit through uh the 10 hours here and see if anyone comes uh to buy any of our players all right guys so in the fifth hour we got three transfer offers and a loan offer okay so someone's looking at fabrata fulham okay so we bring him into the prem uh i don't know i think i might keep him so i'm gonna reject this betty core also got an offer to milan for 33 million i think i'm gonna reject that for now just so we have a backup and then maybe in the winter transfer maybe for the next the next summer transfer we sell him alexandro spurs offers 47.4 million reject because i think sandro's gonna be he's our top left back right now so i think we're gonna keep him i'll keep as his uh keep simulating and see what happens uh for any more transfer offers to come through all right so there's one hour left in real madrid interested in sandro for 44.4 i think i'm gonna decline this i'm not trying to sell him so we're gonna reject it as well damn i didn't know alexander was such a popular left back in the game a lot of teams are going after him it's like the fourth team going after sandro already all right so we got one more hour left i think we got a transfer offer here so we do have a bed to core transfer offer lester city I think I might have to keep him. I don't think I'm going to be able to sell him right now. So I think I'm going to reject this. Fabrata is also got a loan offer. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to reject this as well. All right. So we're, we're, that's it for all the, the transfers and stuff. We can get rid of all this. Now we got the youth the youth uh, squad here. This Romero guy is, is going very nicely. 61 rated overall. He potentially go to 94. And then this Romanian guy... He, he could be doing well, so we're going to keep him here still. And then uh, this Dutch guy, I think we're going to have to. We might have to let go of him. He's only going to go up to maybe 78, so we're going to release him. And I think we can bring this guy up. Then we're going to promote him to the senior, the senior team. This guy has some work to do. If, maybe once he goes to 60 rated, maybe we'll bring him up. So we got to wait for him. Now we're going to do the youth staff. I actually love doing this. We're going to set up a scout here. We love I love making up. You know, players that are going to do well for us. I always try to find the next Ronaldo. So we got to go to attacker. Okay, we're going to scout this. Bring up another four. This guy's five star, four star. And set him up in Argentina. So maybe we can find the next Messi, next Ronaldo. And put him onto the squad. So here we go. We go Argentina. And we got to be, I think we got to do technically gifted. There we go. So we have two scouts ready. And here we go. Alright guys, so I simmed the next week after the transfer window and we got a loan offer for Dragusin and it's to Norwich and then we got a Bentancourt transfer offer to Roma so I think I'm going to reject it, the Bentancourt one Dragusin I think I'm going to reject this as well because I, I think I got rid of a lot of players and I need to have players as backups and stuff so I think I can delete these now we got our next game our very first game here we got Sassuolo Bed to Coor, uh transfer from Manchester United. I'm going to delete this. I don't think I'm going to sell him right now. Reject. Let's get right into the game. I think I missed it a quick sentence. It's just a swallow. So hopefully our team plays well. Let's see what's going to happen here. All right. So we won 2-1. Kulisevsky and Chiesa, both players that I'm do I'm very happy with. I've in real life. And hopefully they do well. 
I think he has it to do really well. He's really shorting himself in the Euros so far, and he did pretty well for the, his first season at Juventus. Kulisevsky, not too much, but I think he'll do well. He did well with Sweden and the Euros this year, so hopefully he does well. Now we got Champions League. I think we have another game coming up in a couple days here. So I'm going to probably switch out some players, and we're going to probably put in a little bit lower rated player just so they have some experience playing, and they can probably boost up their overall. All right, so we got our first Champions League game. We also got a message here saying that China and Venezuela are interested in us, but I'm not going to be interested in them. So here we go. Our first game. I'm going to go into team management and switch out some players because I think we need some players to play for us that haven't already. So I think I'm going to put in McKenny for Arthur. And I think I'm going to put in Morata here. And then maybe Bernardeschi here. We'll have Dragusin on the bench instead of this guy here. I think that, that will do well. We have Fabrata instead of Buffon. And there we go. We will sim the match and we will watch it, but we'll see how they do. All right, so now it's kickoff and let's see how the how Juventus and our new team is gonna play. All right, so we got Morata, Bernardeschi. Ah, oh, he just missed. They kick it out of play. Well, they're in our end now. Oh no, man, they're in a box and we kick it out. Nice defense to lit. Now it's a cool kick. Right, so they're in our box again now. Oh, they're dribbling. We got Sandro pressing. Come on. We gotta get the ball away. Please, please, please. Oh, man. They're just passing around us. Come on. We gotta put that pressure on. We gotta put that pressure on. Nice. Let's go. Our possession now. This looks like we can't break their defense, I think. Oh, what, oh, what a chance. What a goal by Murata. Let's go, Murata. We got a 1 0 so far. It was a rebound goal, but we'll take it. Champions League. We gotta take every goal that we can. Kulisevsky with the ball. It's on the box. Ah, oh, we got a penalty. I think I'm going to jump in because Morata and his pens. I got to take these. I don't I don't trust him. Here we go. Let's go, baby. I think I'm only going to take the pens because I, I don't trust them. Or maybe the free kicks as well. All right, now we're going to jump back right back into the sim. Here we go. So we got Morata right before we get our changes up. Passing McKenny's all alone. Come on, near post. Let's go, McKenny. Let's go, McKenny. Vamos. Come on, Quadrado. Passing the ball. Ronaldo's wide open. Oh, we pass to McKenny. McKenny passes. Let's go, McKenny. Two for McKenny. Two for Morata. What a game. What a game. And that's it. First game. Four nothing. Two goals from McKenny. Two goals from Morata. One of Morata's goal being a pen. Let's go. That was a very good first Champions League game. All right, so we got a league game here after that Champions League game. And I think I'm going to probably switch up the team a bit. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have the ball as striker and Ronaldo on the wing. And we just put in Benzikor in the midfield. So let's see. We're going to sim the match. All right, so here we go. So I do look at their uh, inter squad. They did pick up Kimpembe, which is a pretty crazy transfer in my opinion. Yeah, here we go. They have the ball. Oh, okay. Here we go, we got the ball back. So we are in the pink, Inter is in the black. All right, so we're trying to get past their midfield here. Dybala, outside the box, passes it, come on, turn. Ah, oh, intercepted. Inter have the ball. Oh, they're right outside our box, but we're trying to put good uh, pressure on them. Ah, nice, we got the ball back. Ronaldo has the ball, passes to Dybala, through ball. Ronaldo, what a goal! What pass, Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka, let's go, baby. What a goal by Ronaldo. Yeah, Pogba with the ball, trying to get it through the box. The ball, Ronaldo, Ronaldo with the second goal. Ronaldo with the second goal. Come on, let's go. Here we go. The ball with the ball, He's trying to find an open space. The ball, what a through ball from Renato. Shoots. What a goal. What a goal. What a through ball from Renato. What a pass. This is why we picked them up, boys. This is why we picked them up. It is three nothing. I think I can just end the the game here. It's just a pause here, and I think we're just to jump to result. I think we did win the game. They did get a goal at the end from Alexis Sanchez. And McKenny came on for Pogba. Arturo came from on for Bentecourt. And Bernardeschi came on for Renato Sanchez. Good two games so far. I'm liking it. We're playing very, very well. All right, so we got a Buffon transfer offer from Wolves. And they're, I'm probably going to reject this. I'm, the only team I'm going to accept is Parma. So we're going to reject this offer. And let's get back into the games. We have small games, uh, smaller teams coming up. So I'm going to to sim those. And probably only... Um, watch the bigger games and stuff. Champions League games, only only those ones. Like the smaller teams, I think I'm gonna set a quick set on those. 
All right, so if we just played Hellas Verona, Ronaldo got a goal. He scored two goals, actually. There we go. Very good for us. We got a second game. And we got Bentu Kuro transfer offer from Napoli. We're going to reject this. We're playing Bologna, and I think we're going to make some changes here. Because our team is getting really tired. We need some players for the Champions League against Barcelona that's coming up. We're tossing McKenny here. Bernardeschi. Right, this is the team we're going to be using. I didn't put Buffon in there just to use him because he is you know, on the bench. We might as well. I want to rest Chesney. So here we go. We're going to click some this. All right, so we tied 2-2. Two -two. I didn't really expect it because he did put a lot of some uh, younger players and we put it in some underrated players as well. So I'll take the tie. And now we have to get into the Barcelona Champions League game. All right, so we got the press conference for Barcelona. We got a boost of the morale of our team. Okay, it's a good possible start. Make right, sure your boys are gonna feel confident. I'm feeling very positive. I think we'll use that. It's a very good contest on paper. Do you plan on winning the game? I'm gonna say we're not gonna underestimate Barcelona, which we should not. Barcelona is a good side. The team's absolutely flying. How confident are you that your players can continue this level of performance? I'm gonna say let's not get distracted. We are playing well, but we want our team to keep playing well, and we don't want them to have too high of of a uh, you don't want them to have a high ego, so we're gonna let them let them keep doing their thing. So here we go. We got Juventus versus Barcelona, and our our players are pretty dead here. We gotta toss him. I think I'm gonna put a McKenny at center back instead of Danilo. McKenny can play center back for us, which is really good. I think I'm gonna put in Dragus in here. I think I'm gonna put in DiBala as well. We put DiBala as striker, Ronaldo on the wing because Kess is looking a little tired. He's been playing a lot of our games, and I think maybe we play Fabrota instead of Quadrado because Quadrado is looking a little tired as well. Right, so this is the squad we're going to be using. We're going to take out of a lot of our players because their, their stamina is very, very low. So yeah, here we go. We're going to sim the match. Okay, so we got to start going. And we're going to see how well we can do. Okay, we got another chance here. Here we go. Come on, Renato. Ah, come on, baby. Dybala, good takes a shot. What a goal from Dybala. Pass from Renato again. That's a good pairing right there. We got a through ball there for the Kulisevsky. Kulisevsky with the ball. Crossing it in. They're passing back and forth. Ronaldo. What a goal to Ronaldo. Let's go. 30 minutes in. We got two goals. 2-0 two to Juventus. Let's go. We got the ball in our box. Griezmann playing back and forth. And Messi gets the goal. So now it's 2-1. We got Dybala. Dybala with the ball. Trying to get around the defense. Here we go. Right outside the box, Renato. Here we go, Dybala. What a goal. What a goal passing around the box there. Let's go. Two goals from Dybala. One goal from Ronaldo. Our subs have now come in. Here we go. And that is the end of the game. What a crazy game. Three goals. Two goals from Dybala. One goal from Ronaldo. And Messi having their goal. That was an amazing game. Our players played very, very well. Especially our midfield. Our defense may need a little bit of work. But I think at the winter transfer... I think that's where we'll be going after some, de uh, some defenders. So in the comments below, guys, please let me know any defenders, either some new prospects coming up or maybe some players that I may not even heard about or even maybe some new guys that we do know and maybe it'll be a good fit for our team. All right, guys, so we did win a manager reward, which is very, very good for us. And we do have some, um, some monthly scouting reports. So when I do this, guys, I just look at their, their rating and also their potential. So here we go. None of these guys have really good high potential. This guy does. This Cardoso kid. This Duque. And yeah, this guy can go as well. So we only have these two guys who do have uh, some pretty decent overalls and their potentials could be very high. So we'll keep those guys. And now for the second one, we're going to do it again. So we're going to check these guys. These guys are not going to do very well. These two maybe. This guy is a little too low, so we're going to reject him. This guy's pretty high. This guy's a little too average. So we're going to reject him. And this guy's also... The uh, not that good, so we're gonna get rid of him as well. Alright, guys, we do have a game against Parma here. I did take out some players. I put in uh, Buffon instead of Chesney. I took out uh, Artur and put in McKenny, and I put Morata instead of Ronaldo there. So now we're gonna quick sim the match and see how we do still. Alright, so we did win one nothing with Morata. So we're gonna go and Ronaldo coming in for Chiesa, Artur for Sanchez, and Danilo did get a yellow for us. We did hold our ground. We got 64 possession, 7 shots, 6 inches, and Parma did not get any shots on us, which is very, very good. So that means our defense did very well, and they had no possession. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. 
thank you guys for watching we did very very well for this transfer uh after the transfer window we're not probably making a big change in the midfield if you guys have not followed me on twitch follow me on twitch it's christian underscore x7 the same as the youtube like the youtube video as well and subscribe to the youtube if you guys haven't already and yeah thank you guys for watching peace